Hello, welcome back to Open Everyone. Diabetes and your diet. Yes, that's what we're going to talk about. It's a new book by uh, uh, number one best-selling author Nancy Addison. It offers the reader long-term strategies for reversing or preventing diabetes. With over 65 diabetic-friendly recipes and positive lifestyle tips, the reader is given inspiration for a healthy life. And here now to tell us more, please welcome back health and nutrition expert and author of Diabetes and Your Diet, Nancy Addison. Hello and welcome. Thank you, it's always great to be here. Yeah, we love having you and we love that you always stop by uh, on your trips to New York, hailing all the way from Texas. Mm -hmm. And of course, writing these amazing books that are, I guess are shifting everybody's thought process into prevention versus you know just dealing with whatever gets tossed their way and, and prescriptions. Absolutely, I mean, it's so much easier and more cost effective to not get sick in the first place. So. Uh, I really do believe that we give our body the right tools, it can do miraculous things. And, you know, with diabetes rising 700% over the last 50 years, I see direct correlations between the quality of our food and the rise in disease. So, in direct correlation to the food, um, and I know we've had these conversations before, uh, we, we, we actually invite Nancy because um, as we were discussing prior to getting on air, she's like a walking encyclopedia. And then I corrected myself because we're in millennial days. So the, the <laughs> correct term would be Wikipedia. We have her right here on <laughs> air. <laughs> and so uh, with that said, uh, I just wanted to revisit the, um, aside from whatever recipes you have, um, let's just start with the basics of the, the combination of food, because I know that plays a role also. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's really interesting because over the last 50 years with the, the huge rise in all the diseases, cancer, diabetes, uh, just two of them, uh, I see a direct correlation with the ingredients in our food as comparatively to the ones before like World War II. And so, you know, we have more additives in our food. We have colorings, we have dyes, we have chemicals, we've got high fructose corn syrup, we've got all kinds of, you know, like MSG, monosodium glutinate. We've also got more GMO foods. So foods that are grown with chemicals like glyphosate, which are cancer causing, or, um, you know, and different things, you know, cheap filler foods that our tax dollars actually go to help support these cheap foods that are destroying our health. So it's, you know, it's, it's all combined. And so one of the things that I, I have recognized is that a lot of these things that we can do are very inexpensive, very easy, and just, we just need to know about them so we can implement them and just start restoring our health. So what are some of the things that could be done? Well, one of the things that I really recommend is always reading the ingredient label. I don't care how fancy or good the, the front of the package looks, the ingredients will, might tell you a whole different story. But you want to look for things like fructose or high fructose corn syrup, which is a cheap filler made from corn, and it's concentrated. And what the studies have found is that that actually reacts differently in our body than other types of sugars. And we think, well, fructose isn't that in fruit, but fruit fructose in a whole food form in, you know, like an apple or a peach or an apricot, that is a totally different fructose than the concentrated uh, variety made from corn, like high fructose corn syrup, or even agave syrup, which has got more fructose in it than high fructose corn syrup. But what that does is it affects our body's ability to make insulin, and then it also affects our leptin hormone, which makes us feel satisfied. So they found direct correlations between that and obesity. And then when we have a, a weight problem and we get overweight, that directly affects our body's ability to even maintain or regulate our weight. So there's a few little things involved, but in my book, I just make some really easy, simple to implement steps where you can just truly get control of your health in reverse. In fact, they say diabetes is virtually 100% 
reversible and preventable with diet and lifestyle. So I give you all of these specific steps that you can implement and it's amazing. But you know, like with white use today, between 10 and 14, there's a 24% rise in diabetes. With black youth, there's a 200% rise in diabetes. And they're saying that this is gonna double by 2020. And so, you know, let's let's just stop this now and, right. and reverse this. You know, and just in listening to you, <clears throat> and um, just from a, a basic term, right? It, if you're not used to going and reading labels and just, Paying attention to these these particular ingredients that you're talking about. Um, how does one just even get started without being intimidated, right? Because there's, there's an intimidation factor. There's also this new habit that needs to be formed. And like now I got to read every single label. Like what are the basic things that you should be seeking in your ingredients? How about we start there? That is a great question. And I will tell you what, it's a plant-based diet that reverses the di diseases. It reverses cancer, diabetes, heart disease. You know, they're, they're saying we don't have cures for this. The cure is a plant-based diet and quality is important. So if you can buy certified organic that doesn't have the uh, pesticides and chemicals on them, you know, that's a really good place to start. So if you buy seasonal, buy at your local farmer's market, you can get it less expensively. And I'm seeing certified organic food at almost all the grocery stores now. And what's interesting is uh, I'm finding it less expensive at some of the stores that you don't n normally think about having organic food because people aren't looking for it there. And so they, they actually have better prices a lot of the time. So eat more whole vegetables and uh, food in their, its whole real form without having any kind of processing. And so my, my recipe books, and, and half of my books are all recipes, uh, how to be a healthy vegetarian, and they're really easy. And I think, you know, get in the kitchen, get in the kitchen with your family, light a candle, put on some nice music, and make it a, an event. It, it, it is uh, just a, an, an alteration of, of lifestyle, of, of thought process. And, and unfortunately, you know, within the community, I mean, at least my community, uh, from what I've seen, with, even within my own family, I'll, I'll just speak uh, on a more immediate basis. It, unfortunately, they wait until they're diagnosed. And so um, I, I just want to share with everyone, you know, we're providing you with this information so that you can take the initiative to prevent, especially if it's running in your family. Uh, because diabetes is also a genetic disease. So, um, I understand that you did a movie. Yes. A documentary. Uh, well, I'm, I'm just a little bit in it, but it's called Eating You Alive, and it's really about how food is your medicine and how the plant-based diet can really truly uh, reverse disease. And so, you know, not that everybody wants to be 100% vegetarian. I'm from Texas, and I know a lot of people that don't necessarily want to do that, but, right. you know, Adding more plant-based foods to your diet really helps. Uh, most people don't know a quarter pound of meat will raise your blood sugar the same as a quarter pound of straight sugar. Hmm. And so, you know, eating more plant-based foods is really important. So Eating You Alive is showing at the IF Center here in New York. It's premiering until next Tuesday. So it's a great, a great uh, film that w I highly recommend seeing. So let's just take a, a look at the clip uh, of that has you in it uh, before we go. Um, if we could just show uh, Eating You Alive uh, featuring Nancy Addison in it. Good news. We are constantly regenerating taste buds. And when you start eating something new and you, you stick with it and you give it a chance, you know, I say two to three weeks, your taste buds change for what you're eating. So if you're eating healthier foods, you're actually gonna like that food better two to three weeks out than you did the first day you tried it. You know, that's a really positive thing. There you have it. And so once again, that's gonna be playing Oh, at the IF Center in, I think it's um, a Tribeca, in the Tribeca area of Manhattan, until next Tuesday. Until next Tuesday. And of course, you know, that's to educate yourself on uh, preventative measures, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's what we're here trying to help you guys do, you know, live a healthy lifestyle, right? Hashtag mm -hmm. not 62. <laughs> and so, um, Nancy, where can people get the book before we go? 
My book is on Amazon. It's at Barnes and Noble, and uh, it was the number one bestseller on Amazon. Congratulations on being the number one bestseller on Amazon, <laughs> and and thank you so much for always coming and sharing your knowledge with our viewers here in the BX. All thank right, you. Nancy Addison, everyone, and once again, for more information on Nancy and her book Diabetes and Your Diet, please visit Organic Healthy Life. Dot com, organichealthylife.com. All right, so the New York Botanical Garden celebrated 25 years of magic for their annual holiday train show. Let's take a look. New York City Botanical Garden is celebrating the 25th year of their holiday train show. Come and experience the magical collection of more than 150 replicas of New York City buildings. This is the holiday train show at the New York Botanical Garden. We've been doing this for 25 years. It's become a holiday tradition for people in the Bronx, people throughout New York, throughout the US and the world, really come here to visit and make it a destination during the holiday season. We've been working with Applied Imagination, which is this great team started by Paul Bussey, who create these really, these marvels. We have over 150 structures made out of plant materials everything from the Empire State Building to Rockefeller Center, uh, great bridges like the George Washington Bridge, Coast Cottage, Yankee Stadium, which is one of my favorites. So you can see it's got the original scoreboard, the pennants on top, and if you listen closely, you'll hear the voice of uh, announcer Phil Rizzuto. So it's just really one of the, one of the highlights, you know, one of the, one of the landmarks here in the Bronx. And this year, we've added the Ed Koch Queensboro Bridge. So there's a lot of trellises and bridges throughout the exhibition, everything from the George Washington Bridge to the Hell's Gate Bridge. Uh, and this is one that's new this year. It's the Ed Koch Queensboro Bridge. Also, these wonderful structures from Coney Island, like the Cyclone roller coaster, the Wonder Wheel Ferris Wheel. It's really spectacular to see. And we have dozens of trains, G-gauge trains, these huge trains, model trains running through these structures. Um, the children love it, the adults love the artwork that goes into this place. It's just an experience you're not gonna get anywhere else. We come every year, we bring our grandchildren, I see the little kids like that and just love it. We've been members for like almost 20 years, we love it. I think Bronx residents are very proud of having something like this really right here in the heart of the Bronx here at the New York Botanical Garden. Where else can you go to see all these wonderful landmarks all in one place under this beautiful crystal palace, the conservatory. Anybody who wants to come and see the Holiday Train Show can get all the information on our website, nybg.org, and it's really spectacular to see. holiday train show. Thank you, Kadia. We're taking a break, but don't go anywhere. There's more open coming up next.